Good afternoon, Messiah kids. Oh, we'll try again. I think it just likes to test me. Okay, good afternoon, and it's a gorgeous day today, isn't it? It's still summer, but just a little taste of fall. So, um, this is our last regularly scheduled story time because I know you all are going back to school. Um, never fear, there will be a couple every month. So today um, I'm going back to some storybooks and I thought, well, it's kind of appropriate because in the fall, um, one of the um, most fun holidays happens and that's Halloween. Now I realize we have to get through September and all of October till we get to October 31st. But I saw this book and it was feeling kind of fall. So I thought, how can I resist? It's called The Big Scary Monster by Thomas Dougherty. So let's see what's up with The Big Scary Monster. On top of a mountain, not very far from here, there once lived a big, scary monster. This monster was bigger and scarier than any other creature, and he knew it. Mm. Sounds like he's going to get himself in trouble. All the other little creatures that lived on the mountain spent their days playing happily together among the small rocks and small plants. But the big, scary monster was never far away. There he is hiding. There they are, all playing. So he spends his day hiding, and when they least expected it, oh! oh, he's a mean old scary monster, and they all go running away. That's not very nice. As time went by, the little creatures learned to hide from the big scary monster and he soon got bored because he couldn't find anyone to scare. Boy, they are hiding. I'd be worried hiding on that cliff, but I guess if that's what it takes, that's what they're doing. One day, as he stood at the top of the mountain and looked down into the valley, he saw many other creatures playing happily in the valley before. I'll go down there and scare them, he said to himself. So he's way up high and he's going to go clear down there and scare all those creatures. Hmm, he hasn't learned to be a good neighbor, has he? So off he went down the mountain. But as he walked, a strange thing happened. Hmm. So all of the, the creatures up on top of the mountain, they're hiding. But what strange thing could be happening? Hmm. The farther down he got, the larger things around him appeared to be. The small rocks became big rocks. The small plants became big plants. And the little creatures that it seemed so small from the top of the mountain were actually very, 
very big. The big scary monster had never felt so small and scared in his entire life. Wow, look how big they all are compared to him. Hmm. I wish I was on, back on top of the mountain with the little creatures and the small rocks and the small plants, thought the big scary monster. He found a big rock he could hide behind. Then suddenly, there he is, he's hiding. What do you think he's hiding behind? I think so too, it's a rabbit. Then suddenly, when he least expected it, Oh boy, that's a big scary rabbit, isn't it? Now well, the big scary monster got his back. Back up the mountain ran the big scary monster. The big plants became small plants. The big rocks became small rocks. And the little creatures... were nowhere to be found. Oh no, all of the creatures up on top of the mountain, where have they gone? The big scary monster felt so alone that he sat down and started to cry. And he's crying big tears and they're making a lake. Then suddenly, when he least expected it, boom! Oh my goodness. All of the creatures have come to get him. Oh my goodness. Now what's going to happen? The big scary monster was so pleased to see the little creatures that he forgot all about being big and scary. From that day forward, everyone became friends and played happily together at the top of the mountain. There they all are, they're all being friends now. And can you guess what their favorite game was? They're all scaring one another. That's so silly. Well, I'm glad they all became friends because that's what we want. We want people to get along and become friends. So that reminded me of a Bible verse, and it's in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 27. You all know this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength and all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. So let's remember that love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So I think that's what all the creatures and the big scary monster did up on top of that mountain. They found out that it was much more fun to love each other and be friends with each other than to hide and be scared, right? I think so. So of course I had to make a monster 
for our craft today. Here's my monster. Now the cool thing about monsters is they can look like anything you want them to be. Now can you tell what I made this out of? I thought that was fun. It's made out of an envelope. I had a purple envelope that I didn't have anything to do with it. So then I cut out teeth and I gave him crazy eyes and he's got spots all over and he's sticking his tongue out. He's a big scary monster that's not so scary. Okay, well, it has been fun all of these weeks doing story time. A couple things I want you to remember. Um, in your kids, just do it, August kits, you have a bingo game. If you get a bingo, you get a theater-sized box of candy. And if you get a blackout where you do all of the activities on the bingo card, you will get a Dairy Queen gift card. And you can get those things from me on Wednesday, September 16th when we do worship in the parking lot of the Messiah Church. So all you have to do is have mom and dad verify your win and they need to email me so that I can make sure I have enough prizes. You can only win once, so don't get four bingos and think I'm going to give you four boxes of candy because it doesn't work that way. Um, I also want to tell you that on Saturday morning, September 12th, we're going to do Donuts with Prayer Partners. So that's going to be from 9 a.m. to 10.30. The donuts will be all packaged up. We're still getting really good donuts, like from Hy-Vee but they're going to be all pre-packaged so that everything is safe. I hope you will contact your prayer partner and let them know to come. And you can socially distance in the parking lot and see one another, see your friends, parents can see one another, and we can have a great morning of fellowship. And if you don't have a prayer partner or you don't know who your prayer partner is, let me know or let Cammie Pohl know and we will help you get a prayer partner. But we want you to come and eat donuts no matter what. So I've been so thankful for this time with you today and I hope you will remember, love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul, all your strength, all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Okay, let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear God, thank you for this glorious day that's a little bit summer and a little bit fall. Thank you for the Messiah kids. Keep them safe and healthy as they go back to school or do distance learning. And just bless each one of us as we go out on our way and do your good works. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Good to see all of you.